Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Vivs. In the last vid, I told you guys that you can have fixed pieces of text called strings all separated from your Java code, put them separately inside an XML file and manage them easily. I mean modify them, remove them and see, keep a track of all the separate strings that you have. In this vid, I'm going to talk about appearance. How do you manage appearance of your Android apps using layouts and stuff. So let me go ahead and show you first what I mean. If you see these chairs, each of these chairs is an individual object, right? Same way, your hello world text view, your button, they are all individual objects. And these objects are called views in Android, all right? Same way, you have these arranged in a rectangular fashion, right? Now this invisible rectangle, which you cannot see, is the same way called a view group in Android. And if you see in this example where I have said your hello world and button, this is that red colored invisible rectangle inside which your hello world and your button are arranged horizontally. But remember, they can also be arranged in a vertical fashion, right? Hello world above, button below. And such things are possible because your view group manages the ar arrangement of views. You guys getting that? So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. What is the relationship between view and a view group? So what you have is you have a view group. You can have other views inside. You can also have other view groups inside. That's how your complex appearance is achieved in Android apps. So let me go ahead and talk about this. You have this appearance files inside some XML file, which is inside this layout folder in your Android project. All right. So we are going to make a project and we are going to show you how things look after your project is done so you can understand each file in full detail. So let me go ahead. Here is the main point. UI controls are called views and this, uh, the controls which are invisible inside which your views are arranged and placed together are called view groups. All right. Now there are several types of view groups. I'm going to only talk about one of them right now. The simplest one view group is called a linear layout. Now if you see this, you can easily figure out that here you have things vertically, here you have things horizontally. Yep, that's all. That's all your linear layout does. Arrange things either vertically or arrange views either horizontally. So let me go ahead and see exactly what I mean in that. So here comes the question of sizing. Now at this point, what we have achieved is we know that view groups are capable of putting our stuff horizontally, vertically or whatever way we want. But now talking about the size, how big should your view be? Should it be 500 pixels? Should it be 300 pixels? Now here is the thing, what I have here, there are two images. The first one is from a tab. The second one is from a mobile device. That is your Android phone. Now, the first one, your text view is 500 into 200 pixels. The button is 100 into 100. And in the second one, I have the same size. But can you guys notice something? The button is missing, right? There is no button in the second one. And that is because the mobile screen in the second case is very small. 500 into 200 for a text view is going to take all the space. So what is not recommended is you do not give sizes for your U controls or views in pixels. This is not recommended. But then you will ask me the question, then how should I size them? How do I measure them? How do I give them a size? Pretty simple. There are two standard units for giving sizes in Android. They are the best ways. One of them is called wrap content. The other is called match parent. Now your wrap content it's like this guy who says, I will only take as much as I can. I don't need anything extra. He's a very generous guy, you can say. He's not greedy at all. But if you take about a match parent, your match parent is a very greedy one. He's going to say, oh, I need everything in the screen. I need everything and I mean everything. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what wrap content and match parent are. For each control, like text view or what you call your button or whatever, you have to specify its width and height, all right? So the layout width and your layout height, as they are called in Android, it's probably in this case, if you see this hello world text, this blue color is the complete control. I've actually highlighted your text view with dark blue so that you know exactly how big it is. In this case, I have specified the layout width as wrap content and your layout height also as wrap content. So as far as width is concerned, it's going to be only as wide as the size of its text. And as far as the height is concerned, again, it's going to be only as tall as the size of its text. Now, if you see the second case, you guys can probably figure out what is going on. Your hello world is fully wide, right? It's take, it takes the full width of the screen, but height wise, it is still small. You can do that by saying layout width is match parent and layout height is wrap content. In this case, the height is not greedy at all. 
and then there are two more cases you can have your width as what you call uh, wrap content as you guys can see and your height is going to be very greedy it's going to say i need all the height on your screen so you can say that by saying height is match parent and last but not the least you are extremely greedy and you say i want full space match parent match parent so i hope you guys understood something out of this in this vid i've talked about the layouts in android in the next one i'm gonna go ahead jump into how your manifest stuff works how your android app activity looks like and stuff like that so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next vid